Hey everyone, it's Keith here. It's been about six years since I've visited Hong Kong and in October, I'll be heading there for three weeks. In this video, we'll take a look at what I'm bringing with me on this trip. For my travel setup, I'm taking the Able Carry Daybreaker 2, 13 day bag, Alpaca Bravo sling and a suitcase packed with clothes and other accessories. I'm also using this trip as an opportunity to test out some new gear. I'll go through the backpacks and slings and talk about what I'm carrying and how I'm planning on using it. Towards the end of the video, I'll go through miscellaneous gear like pouches and my pocket carry. First up, my backpack of choice for this trip is the Able Carry Daybreaker 2. My friends at Able Carry sent me this backpack ahead of its launch and I've been testing it for a really long time. My review on this backpack should be out after this trip, so if you want to hear my thoughts, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. The Daybreaker 2 is an incredibly lightweight backpack and I'm using this for hikes and to carry all of my camera gear for the flight. Going over my setup, in the bottle holder, I'm bringing the Swell Traveler bottle. This one keeps my drink hot for 9 hours and cold for 12 hours. I love this bottle and it's coming along with me on this trip. Moving inside the bag, I'm leaving this top area empty in case I need to fit any other gear at the very last minute. Here, I've got my alpaca elements cap. I'm planning on hiking a fair bit and this will be very handy. I love the matte finish of this cap and it's also waterproof. Moving down the main compartment, this big box is the Low Pro Creator Box XL and it's got my camera gear and accessories. For this trip, I'm bringing my Fujifilm and Sony setup. Ideally, I'd like to only bring the Sony, but I don't have enough lenses for that setup. Inside the creator box, I'm taking the Sony FX30 and the Sigma 18-50 lens, which I'm currently filming on. It's got incredible video features and the stills capabilities are surprisingly good. For my Fujifilm setup, I'm taking the X-T3 with a 35mm lens. This lens is roughly a 50mm equivalent on full frame, which is a great walk around lens for street photography. Another lens I'm bringing with me is the wide angle 10 to 24mm lens to shoot landscapes and cityscapes. In the next slot, I've got a camera strap. My friends at PGY Tech recently sent over the camera strap for me to check out. I haven't used a camera strap in over 8 years, and it'll be interesting to see if my preferences have changed after this trip. And just below the camera strap, I'm bringing tripod plates and extra batteries for my X-T3 and FX30. In the last slot, I've got a BW variable ND for video, a 10 stop ND, as well as step down rings for my lenses. On this trip, I'm planning on shooting some daytime long exposures with the 10 stop ND. Back in 2013, I loved shooting these daytime long exposures and I can't wait to shoot some more. And that's pretty much all of my camera gear for this trip and I'll configure my setup depending on the activity. I won't be carrying two camera setups every day because it's quite heavy. Moving back to the bag, the Creator Box XL doesn't sit all the way at the bottom of the bag and there's a bit of space at the bottom. It's the perfect spot to fit my Uniqlo Blocktech Parker. This jacket will be very useful for any rainy days during this trip, especially with the wild weather in Hong Kong lately. I love this jacket and recently went more in depth about it in my winter EDC video on my channel. Underneath the front panel, I've kept it pretty minimal in this mesh pocket. I'm only storing a pair of sunnies in here. In the laptop sleeve, I'm taking my 14 inch MacBook Pro with a laptop sleeve for my friends at Rush Faster. The slot in this backpack isn't designed as a laptop slot, it's actually designed to store a hydration bladder. There's not much padding and the Rush Faster sleeve will give my laptop some protection from bumps here and there. And that's pretty much what I'm carrying in this backpack and my setup will change depending on the activity. For example, I'm leaving my laptop at home and I won't be carrying it every day. Also, if I'm out hiking, I'm only bringing one camera setup rather than both setups. The Daybreaker 2 will be ideal for hiking and longer days. However, I'm also bringing the Able Carry 13 day bag in the suitcase. I've tested that backpack extensively and I think it will be perfect on this trip. It's a 13 litre bag and can easily fit a camera, water bottle, sunnies and a light jacket. I feel like I'll end up carrying the 13 day bag more than the Daybreaker 2. If you want to learn more about the 13 day bag, you can check out my review in the top info card. Next up, let's talk about slings. For this trip, I'm taking the Alpaca Bravo Sling Pro version 2 as my daily carry for a couple of reasons. The first one is that I've used it for a couple of years and I'm really familiar with its carry capacity and capabilities. Another reason is that this sling can easily fit a small camera like my Fujifilm X-T3. The third reason is that it has slash proof material that might come in handy against any pickpockets. 
For my setup, I've kept it pretty simple. Here, I've got a packable Uniqlo light jacket, a power bank with a charging cable, and my passport. Finally, in the tablet slot, I'm bringing along my iPad mini 6. The Bravo sling will be perfect for any short trips around the city, especially if I don't want to lug around a water bottle or extra gear. And that's my bag setup for this trip. And now, moving on to some other miscellaneous gear and accessories. First up is the Manfrotto 190X Pro B tripod. I bought this in Hong Kong in 2015 and I'm taking this beast of a tripod back to Hong Kong. This is a sturdy tripod that has been with me on countless trips and shoots. I've used it for many years and this tripod will be handy for those long exposures. Here I've attached a Manfrotto strap so I can sling it around my shoulder and carry it with my backpack and sling bag. I don't like carrying a tripod in a dedicated tripod bag and this minimal setup is perfect. Moving on to pouches, I recently got several new pouches that I'm testing on this trip. The first pouch is the Alpaca Vertex pouch. This is Alpaca's newest tech pouch and if you want to learn more, I recently uploaded a detailed video and you can check it out in the top info card. My plan for the Vertex pouch is to carry all of my tech accessories. In here I've stored a USB hub, USB cables, a wall charger, camera charger, my Truth Ear Hexa in-ear monitors, a Logitech mouse, SSDs and SD cards. I'm looking forward to spending more time testing out this new pouch from Alpaca. The next pouch I'm bringing with me is a recent pickup from my friends at Rush Faster and it's the Bellroy Light Duo pouch. I'm a huge fan of Bellroy's light collection and the Duo pouch is pretty interesting. These come with two pouches, a larger pouch and a pencil case. Both are very lightweight and foldable. I plan to use the larger pouch as a dop kit. At the moment, I'm not too sure how I'm using the pencil case. I might use it as a secondary dop kit since it easily fits in the larger pouch. Another plan is to potentially use it as a minimal tech pouch for on the go. For example, I'll carry a power bank, charging cable, or any random bits and bobs. These two Bellroy pouches are pretty neat and I can't wait to test them out on this trip for a review in the future. A big plan for this trip is to explore Hong Kong and go on hikes. The 470ml Swell water bowl isn't going to be enough, so I'm also bringing along my Hydropack Seeker 2 liter bottle. This is a water bottle that's foldable and packable. A great thing about this is that as you drink more water, you save weight and space in the backpack. In the past, I've brought this with me on several hikes and the Hydropack Seeker is incredibly useful. Continuing the theme of hiking, I'll be bringing my Adidas Terex Solstride as my hiking and everyday shoes. I've decided to leave my Terex free hikers at home since it's autumn in Hong Kong and I probably won't need the Gore-Tex. I think the Solstride is much more suitable for this trip since it's more lightweight and breathable. Another benefit of the Solstride is that it looks like an ordinary running shoe that also works great as an everyday shoe. Moving on to pocket carry, I'm only bringing two watches with me, my G-Shock and my RZE Resolute. This G-Shock will be my everyday and adventure watch while the Resolute will be great if I want to dress up a bit. I'm not covering these two watches in detail because I'm planning on my updated everyday carry video and this G-Shock will most definitely be in that video. I've also previously talked about the RZE Resolute in my review on the channel. Another piece of gear I'm testing on this trip is the Reform 01 wallet. If you've been on the channel, you may know that I absolutely love the Reform 02 wallet and I've been using it for about a year now. But for this trip, I might need to carry some coins and I'm bringing the 01 wallet because it has a magnetic coin pouch. Besides the coin pouch, the overall design on both wallets is very similar. I wasn't planning on making a review on these wallets, but after this trip, I think I might need to make one. And that covers all of the gear I'm taking with me on this trip to Hong Kong. Let me know your thoughts on my setup in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, you might want to check out the video on the screen where I talk about my travel setup for a road trip. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.